In our last video, we took a train trip along the shore of Lake Superior in Duluth. We had first-class accommodations, saw some really nice scenery, and we met author Mercedes Mary McPherson. Uh, she's really nice, and she's got a good book, and check out her website if you get a chance. In this video, we're still along the shore um, of Lake Superior. We planned on going on the North Shore, but with COVID, the Canadian border was closed, so we didn't get to do that. Eh, there's always the next year. So, enjoy the video. We were looking to see where we were going to stay tonight. Oh, you're on camera. Oh, nice. <laughs> We're looking to say, see where we're going to stay tonight because we didn't have anywhere to stay. And we were like, why don't we have anywhere to stay? That's so not us. Usually we have some idea where we we're going. We have a plan, yeah. Yeah. But we figured Duluth was kind of a, a touch point. This was like a major point where we're going to go. So we get to Duluth. We're here two days. We've seen some cool stuff. And you'll probably see video on that previous to this video. But we got up this morning, like I said, we're going to look around and see where we are. I took my time getting out of bed. I figured we'll go a couple hundred miles, we'll stop. Yeah. Beth gets to looking. Where are we going today, honey? We're going to Gwynn, Michigan. How far is Gwynn, Michigan? It's almost 300 miles. 300 miles, about six, six hours. Six hours. We made a reservation to stay in Gwynn, Michigan at a campground for two nights. Probably made it a couple months ago. Yeah. So... so so what happens sometimes when you're on the road is you forget where you are. Like we had trouble figuring out when was the last time we got water this morning. So we're going to have to come up with some way to do better. We, with we that. keep it in Google Calendar where we're going to be. And I looked at Google Calendar and it's blank from now until October. So... <laughs> We, we have some major planning to do and figuring out. And it's really hard because a lot of people are out here now. This is the time of year people are camping. Their summer is almost over. Yeah. And we sat down to do Michigan um, about a week ago. We mm -hmm. had good internet. We were like, okay, let's plan Michigan. We'll be there in a week and a half, two weeks. And everything was booked. Everything was full. Couldn't find anything. State parks were full. National parks. Elks clubs are... Sparse, sparse yeah. in Minnesota. There's a lot of moose clubs, but they don't have any Anywhere services right. or anything. So, so. we uh, we we kind of gave up, you know. And then I found this one place we could get reservations for two nights. And I said, well, I'm going to book that because we got that. And we talked to one of our neighbors. They were saying they had trouble. A retired elevator guy. Um, he was saying he was, they were having trouble finding places, but we really haven't put all our Oh, magic energy tools into it, to right, it. Right. So, so we and then we were like well s screw michigan they have no room yeah, for us exactly. why should we go yeah, we don't need to be in michigan there's no and then we changed our mind again and it's a helmet state yeah. or it used, it used to be to a be. helmet state so uh so now we're going to michigan we found an elks club to stay in at sault st marie we found another moose lodge we can park in no services and we have reservations for two nights starting tonight that we forgot about so there you go this and, is uh, this is a uh, full-time living on the road trying not to plan but still planning so yeah and it's it's six hours and that's the time it's 10 o'clock and this is the camper sorry this is the camper we didn't even make the bed yet places we are not ready to go <laughs> but we will be so we better we get about our, a half an hour yeah better we'll get be our, on the road Get our crap together, yeah, right, so, Maddie? Uh, yeah. Maddie's ready. You ready yeah, to go? She's had breakfast. She's happy. She's ready? Let's go. Yeah. Go, go, go. All right. It's <laughs> a pretty big yard. Elks Lodge in Superior, Wisconsin. They're not playing around. No. 
<laughs> they're pretty serious about their elkness. <laughs> about the Edmund Fitzgerald there too. Where did the whale boats go? I have no idea. That's a lot of boats. I mean a lot of like crew stuff. It's a big fish. Not very big fish. Whoops. There it goes. <laughs> There's a little plush. Euros. I wonder how bad those are.
way here. That goes like 80 feet right there. Right? <laughs> no, <laughs> but I bet it's 20 feet right there. We are at Lake Superior. We're on the south shore, not the north shore. So, but it's still pretty cool. The water is cool, not freezing. It's not too bad. Well, we just put our feet in too. Yeah. You don't swim in Lake Superior. Unless you're a kid. Yeah. This is just on the side of the road. It's a rest stop. I don't know if it's, a, is it's just a beach. It's a great lake, so anywhere on the beach is public access, right? Usually. So, we came from there. We're going to have to go back up there. Yep. Yeah. No ore boats to be seen, but it's the lake, Lake Superior, one of the Great Lakes. Can you name the Great Lakes? <laughs> There's a little memory trick. What's your memory trick? Homes. Homes. Huron, Ontario, Michigan, Erie, Superior. Yep. Great Lake Homes. So, this one would be the S. Yeah. And it looks very much like the M. ranger station for the Hiawatha National Forest to pick up a um, motor vehicle use map and we pulled up after going through this traffic they're putting in a new roundabout. roundabout here in town and it's really got traffic kind of messed up and confusing but we finally found the place we get here we go to the front door guess what COVID-19 office closed working virtually so there was a phone number to call so I called the phone number and the guy was kind enough to come out yay, and give us our map. We didn't ask for any more information or anything else because, you know, the dude's just like doing us a favor by poking his head out. I told him, I said, all I need is a map and I have my mask. So <laughs> put the mask on. And funny story, I was at one door calling. Beth was at the other door. I wandered away, found a door doorbell and I rang the doorbell <laughs> so we actually had two people getting us a map getting us a map to take care of us so even in these times of COVID-19 where nothing's right uh, major kudos for the US Department of Agriculture for stepping up and just providing the the map yeah and is, they were very nice they were very sweet about it they were not crabby right so, so we're gonna take a look at that and we're down the road yep We did get an overnight at the Kewadin Casino. Uh, there's a bunch of these in Michigan, and it was really nice to, that they let us stay there free. There were 30 amp hookups, there was water on site, and some place to dump your garbage. Plus, if you felt like putting a couple of dollars in a slot machine, I'm sure they wouldn't have minded. Uh, we didn't on this trip, but really nice place. It was quiet. Um, it was very clean and it was just a, a great place to overnight in Michigan. Michigan can be hard to find some place to camp. It's such a beautiful place that 
all the all the spots get taken up. But we really enjoyed our little overnight at the casino. Uh, we'll put a link in the description for the casino itself so that if you decide to stay there, you'll know where it is. So that's all we have for this video. If you liked it, give it a thumbs up. Um, if you didn't like it, then maybe you should subscribe and you might like the next one. So anyway, we had a lot of fun making this video. It's from last summer. As you can see, Beth is back here editing the video that you just got done watching. I know it's weird. It's a, it's a YouTube thing. So just just leave it as written and uh, well we'll have more videos coming up and we'll hope to see you up and down the road <music>